Hey guys, I'm Stefan McKellar with IST. I've been paid as a consultant and trained contractors, construction companies, and municipalities all throughout the world in trenchless technologies. Things such as pipelining, top hats, spot repairs, cutting, camera inspections, you name it. I have over 10,000 hours of hands-on experience. I've been sprayed in the face with sewer water, stuck in the pipe, anything you can think of. Not to mention I've been in Germany the last five years to get trained and certified on all the leading equipment and technologies. The first step of the lining process is to mix the resin in either a 2 to 1 or 4 to 1 mix ratio depending on the desired product. Once both components are in the mix bucket, it's important to make sure the resin is mixed properly without air bubbles or colored streaks. The next step is to clamp off the liner, allowing enough space for the resin to be poured. The end of the liner is now taped off and a small incision is cut into the liner, allowing the vacuum to be placed over the cut. It is important to only cut through the first layer of felt or else the vacuuming will not work properly. The purpose of the vacuum is to allow the resin to be evenly distributed throughout the liner without creating air bubbles which results in a decrease in liner strength. The mixed resin is now poured into the end of the liner where it is then thoroughly wet out by either a hand roller or an impregnation table. It is very important that the liner is evenly wet out. You will be able to see the color change once the liner is wet. The liner is now rolled evenly into the drum where it is guided through and then clamped to the Stortz lining connector. Once the connector is in position, it is now time to pressurize the inversion drum to the desired PSI. The pressure depends on what liner is being used but is normally around 5 PSI. You can now let the drum do the work while making sure the liner is inverted at a consistent and safe speed. If you liked what you see in this video, here's what I want you to do next. Go ahead and visit the website below and I'm going to send you guys a free ebook and valuable information that you need to know if you're in the pipelining industry. See you in the field.